Entropy for the pitch symbols multiple logarithms are true of for the pitch. You can find the entropy by using this equation. And you know to find the entropy or information contained in the image, we don't need to find the Huffman coding or something like this. <coughs> Just with the probability of the each pixel, we can easily find the entropy of the uh, image or uh, image patch. But for finding the data redundancy and also the compression ratio, we have to uh, use the Huffman coding, and after that, we can find the data redundancy or compression ratio. But what is entropy used for? Uh, for the entropy, that's the, the consist of the information in our content, like this. We talked about this. Okay. We can use this in order to find the information content in the image. For example, we should, in the, this example, we found the probability. Of the each gray level, 21, 95, 169, and 2, and we easily find the entropy of the image by using these probabilities. It means that you don't need to assign some codes, uh, for example, by using Hoffman coding, and after that, find the entropy. You no, just can't find the entropy. But for what is entropy used for? I don't understand the. What is. Why you look for for it? example, if, if you want to find the, uh, the information, as, as you remember yesterday, I'll talk about, and also you know that about the data and information that, uh, that is in our image, maybe uh, uh, sometimes we have lots of data, but they use just to represent a little information, for example, in this. If you consider this as an image, we have lots of redundant data here and other information in the image. It means that this data is used to represent this information. To find the, the information, we can use entropy. Oh, just this. No. So complicated.
is there any point that on the how much data redundancy we have in the in, in, in this fix in this patch? Is there any point? It? Yeah. Five more minutes. Do you know how many bits we need for the lowest prob probability? Four, yeah? And did you calculate the compression ratio or data redundancy? I find the food. Okay, means you find that it's, it's, it's uh, correct that for the lowest probability we just need four bits in this batch. Compression ratio and the data redundancy you can just uh, write like this: the, the probability multiple the uh, bits that we assign to this. For example, the lowest probability has the value of the uh, we assign four bits to the lowest probability. If we assign that, for example, the lowest probability is 0.04, then we assign the uh, four bits to this. We can write four multiple 0.04. And when we find this, we can easily find the compression ratio and the last. And you know that for the compression ratio in, in default, if we have the 8-bit uh, image, we have to, for example, in the, we have to uh, multiply the size of the image. In this example, we have the 5 by 5 multiple 8. You have to find the uh, for the 8 bit image because it is the 8 bit image. Originally, it's the 8 bit image, bit fixed image. And you have to find this and find the finally find the compression ratio and uh, but with the compression ratio you can find the how much data redundancy we have in the image. Okay, let's let me do it. Do it okay for the first part of the question. We have to find the probability of the probability of the each big set. And we know that, for example, probability of the cell 110 is 5 over 25. Let me check it again. 1, 2, 3, 5. Five. Uh, one, two, three. Yes, they are five. Uh, it's a five. Yeah. Okay. Um, twenty-five, zero point two. Probability of the pixel uh, gray level value of the one hundred twenty is six, seven, seven. Twenty-five, zero point twenty-eight. Okay. One hundred forty. 5 over 25, 0 0.2, 164 over 25, 
0 0.16 and probability of the gray level value of 170 is 3 over 25 for the 0 0.12 and probability of the gray value level of 180 is equal to 1 over 25 that is equal to 0 0.04 Cool. And you know that if we add all these uh, values together, finally we can uh, get the value of the bond because probability is between the zero and one. Okay, and uh, we know the probability of the each gray level value or each pixel. Then uh, we have first, uh, the, uh, the first we have to sort it, sort them uh, from the highest uh, probability to the lowest one. Okay, uh, we know that uh, 0 0.28 is the highest probability value. Uh, this one is 0 0.2, it doesn't matter which one do you use. 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.16, 0 0.12, and 0 0.04. And also, as you can see here, we have to add this value together for the next step. We have to write it like this. Have the same value here: 0 0.28, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.16, and the new value. is in 0 0.16 okay then for the next step we know that 0 0.28 let you to first add these values together this is 0 0.2 it means that it's more than 28 we have to put it at first 0 0.32 0 0.28, 0 0.2, and 0 0.2. Okay. Yeah. You know, when we add it, in the all steps, the probability value uh, it has this form from the highest probability value to the lowest probability value. When we add these probab probabilities together, what's the result? 0 0.32. Then we know that 0 0.32 is more than 0 0.28. Yeah, then we have to resort it again from the highest value to the lowest value. Okay, then for the next step, we have to write it. If we add these Provide together 0 0.2, 0 0.2, we have the value of the 0 0.4, it means more than 0 0.32, it means that we have the 0 0.4 here. For this, 0 0.32 and 0 0.28. Okay? <coughs> and again, we add, sorry. If you add uh, these uh, probability together, we can find the value of the 0 0.6. Yeah, 0.6 and 0.4. Okay? Then, finally, we have two uh, probability values. We have to assign the code which one we know that we will in this step we assign just one bit uh, the lowest uh, the highest value we give the value of the zero and the lowest value we will assign we will give the uh, value of the one and we have to uh, back to the first step and we know that when we have the uh, value of the zero <coughs> is zero point 
when we have the probability value of the 0 0.4, we have uh, we assign the one value here, means we have uh, one bit, and when uh, you know that 0 0.6 is uh, after the combination these properties, it means that we have to write the first values here, and then add one more bit to this, it means that for the first one 0, and uh, for the second one, one, it means that in this step we assign the two bits to this value and one bit to this word. Okay, we can come to. Yeah, sorry, I, I didn't understand that. You know, uh, for the uh, zero point six, we assign the value of the zero. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. What's the zero point six? Zero point six is the combination of the zero point thirty two and zero point twenty eight. Uh -huh. Yes. It means that. We have to put zero for both of them. That's the value of the zero, the zero point six. Then, in this step, we know that we have to assign uh, one more bit to each one. Then, we assign for these two. That's the combination of uh, that. This value is the combination of these two. We have to assign one zero to the highest probability value and one to the lowest probability value. Okay. And we know that in this step, we assign one bit to the highest value, and for the rest, we, ha we have to assign two bits. Okay? We have back to the uh, third step. We know that the, uh, what's the, uh, for the value of the 0 0.32, we assign these bits. Okay? We directly can write it, we can write it here and for the value of the 0 0.28 we also can write it here ok for the value of the 0 0.4 we know that the 0 0.4 is a combination uh, after the combination of these two probability it means we have to put 1 for each one because the value of the 0 0.4 is 1 then after that we have to so, uh, add because 0 0.2 are the same value, right? That's yeah, one but, value. but it doesn't matter. For, we know that, for example, this 0 0.2 is for this and this 0 0.2 is for this. But when we write it in this form, it doesn't matter that you, you for example, you put it uh, here or you put it here. It doesn't matter. But in the sort, we can assign uh, one more bit to this. It means that one zero here. One, one here. When we have the same value, it doesn't matter which one is at the first. But, but how do you distinguish them? Why we cannot put the same value to them? One zero, one zero to both of them. What? I mean, but why don't put the same values? One zero and one zero? No, 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 no. no, no. no, no. Uh, for each probability, okay, we have to assign when when uh, this is a combination of the two probability. For each one, we have to assign one more bits. You can, for example, if we consider, for example, this and this, okay, it doesn't matter that we put the 0 0.2 here, or this, or here, or put this here. What's the difference man, between them? Nothing. It means that we can easily uh, sort it in that way that we like, and after that, the, according to the uh, highest to the lowest, we have to assign the value to them. Why do we have to assign one bit for each of them? Because, for example, uh, for this probability, we know that uh, it's not just one value, it's the two values, okay? It means that when for the two values we have the uh, one more bits instead of the one value here. It's the reason that when we back to the uh, this step or for example to the, the rest, we have to one, add one more bit to them. Uh, because we have one value here, but it's a combination of the two values. Then we have to add one bit to save the values. Also similar to this, uh, one for this, zero one for this, one zero for this, and 
bond bond for this. Also, we know that for this, we have these values. Okay? Also, zero, zero. And also, we know that, that we have to add one more bit to this. We can write zero and one. As when we come to the first step, we know that for the first value, we have the two bits, we have to sign two bits, two bits, two bits, three bits. Which one we can do? Because we have two. We, uh, we know that uh, uh, it's this value is a combination of these two values because we have the flag. Okay? It means that at the second step it's fixed, then we have to put it here. But uh, for this we can uh, add one more b zero, zero and one. It means that for the lowest probability we assign four bits. For the highest probability, in this example, we assign just two bits. And but for example, in the that uh, example, you see that for the uh, the highest probability, that is 0 0.4, we just assign uh, one uh, values or one bits to the uh, code. And for the length of the Values we can write hmm? average is equal to know that the 0 0.28 multiplied by 2 plus 0 0.2 multiplied by 2 plus 0 multiplied by 2 0 0.2 multiplied by 2 uh, plus 0 0.16 multiplied by 3 bits plus 0 0.12 multiplied by 4 plus 0 0.04 multiplied by also 4. The result Something like this. Uh, 2.48 bit symbol. Uh, okay? I think we have a mistake here. We have for the find the compression ratio, we have to put the original one here 5 by 5 by 8. Okay, sorry for my run. Okay, to find the compression ratio, we have to write this compression ratio is equal to 5 multiply 5 multiply 8. And for the compressed image, we know the length is. Uh, 2.48 instead of 8 bit here it means that we have to write 5 multiply 5 multiply 2.48 ok results 3.2258 ok and for the data redundancy if you want to know that how much data is redundant in our image, we have to use this equation. This is the compression ratio that we have here. R is equal to 1 minus 1 over 3.2258 is equal to 0 0.96. That's we can say that we have 96 percent data redundant. 
we have 96% data redundancy in our image. And, and also we know that this rate uh, means that the, we just have 4% information, 4% information in our image. And also for the uh, entropy, you can write this 0 0.4 0 0.04 logarithms are 2 of 0 0.02 0 0.04 excuse me plus 0 0.12 multiply logarithms of 0 0.12 plus uh, 0 0.16 logarithm of 0 0.16 plus 0 0.2 logarithm of 0 0.2 also 0 0.2 logarithm of 0 0.2 plus 0 0.28 multiply logarithm of 0 0.28 and finally we can find the value of 2.188 bit the unit is bit per Fix that. Then we easily find the we compress the image in this form by using the Hoffman code. We found the compression ratio that is zero three point twenty two fifty eight. We found the the amount of data data redundant in our image that. It's 0 0.96 or 96% data redundancy uh, we have in our image. And also for the information, we know that uh, for each uh, pixel, uh, 2.4188 bit we use in this image. And that's it for today. If you have any question? How we can interpret this entropy? Like, what does it mean 2.41? It means that for each pixel of our image, we have to assign the 2.41 bits. It's the average of our, uh, our coding or our uh, image. It's the, it means that it, for each pixel, uh, in that, for example, in that uh, image patch, we have 2.41 bits. Uh, An average for each, for each pixel? Yes. So uh, no, 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 no. Uh, bit, uh, the unit is bit per pixel. Bit per each, but then what is 2.48? It's bit, bit per... Bit per symbol, symbol, that is the value of each pixel. Okay. So you might not have all of the values inside of your pixel, inside of your image. Yeah. You might only have like a few grayscale limits yeah. there. Okay. So that's something like. But the, the compression value. ratio is very. The compression ratio is three point twenty two. We have the compression ratio here. Yeah. Because but it, it is the original. So it just compressed by by ninety six percent. I mean, it's, no, 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 no. It's, 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 it's reduced the size yeah. by four percent. Yes. Yeah. yeah. No. Uh, it means that we compress the image three times. Okay. It means that uh, the result is three times smaller than the original one. Okay. Then, if we find, if we want to find the uh, redundancy data, uh, data redundancy or redundancy data in our image, we can't use this and. By this value, we know that in the original image, we have the 96% of the of data redundancy, okay. and it means that we remove this this value in the compressed image. 
means that it uh, just used 40% uh, 40 per 40 of the data in the original image to represent the compressed image. Mm -hmm. And we plot 96% percent, percent, uh, percent of the data in our image. It means that we don't need them to represent the image or compressed image. So we lose 4% four, four of the image. We just use, yes, 4% of the data uh -huh. to represent that amount of information that we want to put in the compressed mm -hmm. image. And, and, and is it done automatically or do you have to do it manually, all of these, all of these operations? Is Kaufman uh, decoding? We have to do manually, yes? Yeah, uh, for, uh, in, in your exam, yes, you have to do uh, no, no, but, 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 but in the MATLAB, there is a uh, function. function for this, or I think for in the, also in the OpenCV. No, no. But will you upload this to the Moodle, maybe, or should we? What? Will you upload this to the Moodle, or we should take it? Uh, the a video yeah. of the last lecture is uploaded, yes, but I will upload it to the ah. tomorrow. Yeah, but it's recording. Is it is visible. Uh, it's kind of visible, yes. After the exam, is it open book or not? What? After the exam, is it open book or not? Uh, I think it's the. Uh, open page. Uh, I don't know what you. I think uh, I remember the last year. Uh, you can use bring two pages or something like this for your uh, final exam. Perhaps said uh, that you can use all the physical material you can. Yeah. Okay. If, if he said it, so <laughs> it means that it's open. But it oh, is. The BPP is uh, bit per okay. pixel. Okay. <laughs> uh, you asked uh, you asked from him. Uh, right, the question for the final. But, but I'm sure that the, one of the questions is from the uh, yeah, convolution or correlation that I showed one example for the sharpening or the smoothing. Uh, one of the questions is from the color image. Uh, for example, convert the uh, HSI to RGB or RGB to HSI. One of the questions is the, the half encoding. Uh, one of the questions will be with high priority. I don't know that this year child will uh, ask you about the uh, Fourier transform or not, but Maybe one of them will be uh, asked for the Fourier transform, which means that we have the uh, image in the time domain and we need it uh, in the frequency domain, it means that you need to use some uh, Fourier transform equation. Uh, I don't know this, uh, he will ask it this year, but I remember two years uh, before he asked uh, a question like this. But although you know the three uh, Already you know the three questions of the final exam. No, uh, one is the uh, correlation and uh, one is the correlation uh, that you have to use some mask in order to smoothing and sharpening. I saw one example. Uh, one of the, the question is the uh, convert the color spaces. For example, HSI to RGB or RGB to HSI, and also uh, showed, showed them the, an, an example uh, around two weeks ago. And also, one of the questions will be something like this. It's the question of the prepared question. So, you just written out of the No, 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 just you have to write the question. All the questions are correct? No, they're ready for week. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's exactly like this. I mean, that you don't need to calculate anything on MATLAB or something like this. Um, sorry. Yeah. Um, could you estimate when the first moments will be evaluated? I evaluated the, the, the first and second homework for the people that was in the uh, class uh, two weeks ago, one week ago. On the, uh, the Tuesday, uh -huh. but for the